Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're out in the western suburbs of Illinois and every now and then I see something so unusual that's not a car, this one's a pickup truck, I gotta share it with you. And today I'm with Brett Roxworthy, Dennis Roxworthy's son, our good friend of the channel. Brett, good to have you on the channel. Thank you, appreciate it, Lou. What year make and model is this one? We have a 1954 Chevy 3100 series half ton pickup. Let's go right to our featured attraction. Now, Brett, this one has an interesting story right to it, right off the bat. First of all, let me get right on that big, glorious emblem and step back from it. So come on with me just a bit. Whose truck was this brand new? So this was bought brand new by my great uncle, John and uh, Rude Lehman. They owned a farm in Sycamore, and this was a farm truck that they purchased uh, in 54. And uh, it's been in the family the whole time. It got passed down in the late 90s to uh, my mom's sister. And upon her death, we took about restoring this a couple years ago. Wow. So obviously it did not look anything like this because this is probably better than showroom. No. I mean, this thing is just off the hook. I also wanted to get on this side of it because, as you can see, there's right in front of the door, there's a little venting. And I'll get closer to it to show you that. So now, how did you end up with this truck? Well, my aunt wanted the truck, so they, they brought it down to my grandparents' house in South Elgin, and I had an uncle, my mom's brother, took the frame off the chassis, redid the motor, and rolled it in the yard, and unfortunately, he died uh, way too young, and it sat for the better part of 20 years. Wow. We had the cab and the fenders and the pieces in a shed in the garage, and uh, upon selling the house, we had to make a decision. Do we do we restore this truck or do we just, you know, call it a day with it? And uh, the decision was pretty easy. Family heirloom, let's restore it. Look at that bed. My brother, who's a painter by trade, he took all the wood and sanded it down and clear coated it. And this is Chad? Yeah, Chad. My brother Chad, who co-owns a truck with me, he's not with us right now. He's, uh, he's yeah. coming in later today, but... Uh, yeah, he'll be at the car show. He later. did all the woodwork on that. <laughs> oh, wow. And I mean, the it, I, I know we're going to open the door on it. I know people, let's open this side because there's something I want to show them on this side. Not only is the gas cap here, but when we open this, it has, that's where your battery's at. So if you open that up, you know, that's where your battery would be. Six volt battery, you'll hear that in a second. So, your Chevrolet heater, defroster, warmer. What's the T for? Uh, that is, I, f I forgot what he told me. That is something related to do with the, the timing or something. I can't remember exactly right. what he said. We'll figure it out. I got a question for people who watch the channel. Why are these bolts on the back of that? You can answer that. Let's uh, go to the other side of it, shall we? We'll the cabs are so cool on the top of these things, aren't they? We'll have you open that. And there. The right amount of pedals. Oh, what is what is this extra right next to the gas? So that is how you start the truck. That's your truck start that's button. That's your start. That's how you start it. Turn the key on and, and you press that. That's your parking brake. Parking brake. That just looks great. Now we got the wheel slightly turned for you so it looks like that. Let me just do this for you. And there. And there. Chevrolet sprouted out. What's the uh, knob here for? You know what? I, I don't know if that's for the windshield wipers. Okay. I, I've literally driven this car today. This is the first <laughs> time it's been driven. It got trailered to the uh, the World of Wheels in Art in March, and uh, it hasn't really seen the road since it's be re been redone. So the it's uh, there's a few kinks to work out. But Brett, don't worry about it. the the bonus and the glory of this. Is people will look who know this truck well on the channel. And we'll explain to us. This looks like the high beams here. All right, let's pop the hood, shall we? Sure. 
So this is your second time out with it? Yeah, we uh, took it for a quick test drive yesterday because, believe it or not, I've never driven a tree, a three on the tree. That's great. <laughs> Dad showed you how to do that. Yeah, yeah, I had to figure that one out and uh, get the hood here. There we go. There you go. Now, Mike did the restoration. Yes. Mike and Mike Spedicini, him and his dad, they, they restored this. So we basically handed them this truck. We handed them a bunch of parts and said, put it together. Put it together. And so it was about a two year project. He did phenomenal work. That's a lot of just... time and research going into this thing because I had to figure out how to put it all back together. <laughs> yeah. Because he didn't take it apart. It was a part already. It was just in pieces. The Thriftmaster 235. I mean, I love the different colors. You have the, the, you have the silver and the braiding. You've got the black, black. The green is juniper green on this and you can see this is the original engine with all the castings it's not complicated but look at even on this side how the manifold is painted not painted you have your firing order one thing that I noticed I'll go back to I didn't notice it at first but you get your Chevrolet scripted across the top of the valve cover. We took the ride here in the parking lot. We're going to take a ride around it. And I was sharing with Brett, Brett that it feels like we got a new go-kart. You know, it bumps around and it jumps around a little bit and you're hoping the chain's still on. <laughs> it's just so much fun. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's start it up, shall we? While sure. I'm right here. Absolutely. She's a little bit of a tricky starter at first. All right. I think it's because it's so new. That's fine. Break, it's still in break-in mode. Definitely. We, we got to do the break-in oil change, actually. Look at the exhaust note. Can you step on the brakes for a second? There we go. You can see those in there. Your time period correct license plate. Let's uh let's shut the hood and let's take her for a ride. Okay, let's do it. So here we are in the 1954 Chevrolet 3100. I'm here with Brent and uh, really this is kind of your maiden voyage because you had a trailer. It is. We trailered this in uh, March of the Roll of Wheels. Uh, I actually got in it and drove it for the first time last night just to get a feel for it so I could drive it to the car show today. And I can smell paint off the exhaust which is great. That's how fresh the paint is on this vehicle. I want to show you where we're headed here. It's kind of a nice view. along pretty smooth it is I mean for a brand new truck obviously there's probably gonna be some kinks to work out yeah uh, yeah it really goes down the road nice and it, and it rides nice you get a little bit of bounce it's a pickup truck yeah this well, thing was meant to work on farms well not only that but think about this this in next year this will be 70 years this truck is old yeah and it looks absolutely brand spank and new absolutely and you were telling me you learned how to drive three on the tree here. Last night, I mean, I've always... Dad, dad showed you? Yeah, he showed me, okay, it's, <laughs> it's first gear, second gear, third gear, up, in, and out. And, and uh, I've driven sticks before, but never went on the column like there this. There you go. Well, so, you're doing it well. Yeah, well, I've driven plenty of plenty of stick shifts. It was yeah. just, uh, well, let me get a feel for this. <laughs> nice. And it's kind of fun once you get the hang of it, right? Yeah, I mean, this thing is like a... It's, it's almost like a buggy, like a Jeep, you know, it's yeah. a little bouncy, but it's stiff, it's a nice ride. It's like a new go-kart. You, it's you like a new go-kart. It and, and you, it's a new toy. Just take a look at the, where we're going. We're just on a country road letting people pass us. This is great. And this thing's so old, it doesn't even have, uh, it doesn't even have turn signals. So, really? Yeah. I didn't think about that. There's no turn signals on this thing, so... This is great. I just take my time while I'm driving it. And 
let everybody enjoy it. Absolutely. We'll take a look at this right here. What a great strip. Gas pedal sticks a little nice. bit. Gotta work that out. <laughs> Figured that out right away. Hang on to the clutch and <laughs> give it a tap. And it doesn't stay. It's a, it's, a little, it's a little temperamental, so. Well, Brett, so much fun. I'm enjoying the ride and the pickup and a beautiful day. Thanks so much for being on my car story. What a treat. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Lou. It's a pleasure to meet you officially. I know you've uh, done a lot with my dad. And, yeah, uh, I lots enjoy of fun. the videos. And it's a pleasure to meet you, and it's a pleasure to show off this beautiful truck. Thanks so much. All right, thank you.